Baba Tatene. Baba. Baba Tatene. Oh, Baba. Oh, Baba. Oh, Baba. Oh, <laughs> this family was luckier than most. After nine days as hostages, these men returned with their loved ones. It was an incredible moment to witness. Al so in a yati kwati pacifique kwito na mbuso baba That kind of fear, anger and hope was present every day in the Central African Republic. Since 2013, I've watched as the country battled against anarchy as I documented the civil war for Human Rights Watch from the beginning. It began with the Seleka, a rebel coalition that sought to topple the corrupt government. They recruited foreign fighters and they began to loot, burn and murder their way across the country to seize power. Because many of the Seleka were Muslim, the religious minority, the rest of the country saw them as extremists who oppressed the people of Kar. Then came the Anti-Balaka, a grassroots militia that rose up to fight the Seleka rule. They began to attack the Muslim civilians with equal brutality. Religion was twisted into a weapon used to divide the country and mask what the war was really about. Vengeance, survival, resources and power. And all civilians were caught in the middle. 800,000 people were forced from their homes. Neighborhoods burned to the ground. Thousands died. A civil war began. This is what it looks like when a country shatters. But how can it put itself back together? We think of civil war as two armies facing off. But what it really looks like is everyday moments of terror in the street. And as the conflict trickled down into the communities, it sparked tit-for-tat murders fueled by revenge. These people are grieving the death of a young Christian girl. Her family members told us they would seek their own form of violent justice. Il y a un musulman ici à côté. Il a tué cinq personnes. Et le matin après, il a tué notre soeur. Pour cela que nous sommes aussi allés lui attaquer, brûler la maison, brûler la maison et faire la tapage. I first saw her cousin shot and killed by international peacekeepers. Then I saw the machete he'd used to murder a passing man on the street. Even at a funeral, it felt like there was nowhere to hide. Quand les anti-balas comme on dit, nous allons chasser et les les Seleka et les gens des longues robes. C'est ce qu'on a compris que et ils ont considéré les musulmans aussi comme des ennemis. Father Bernard is a Catholic priest. His arms are around a Muslim child, and his churchyard has become a home to Muslim women, children, and the elderly. Each person he saved. Puis beaucoup ont été massacrés dans la brousse. C'était comme une chasse. On s'est dit qu'on ne pouvait pas rester là comme ça sans rien faire. J'avais peur, mais c'est les vies humaines qui sont en danger. On a accueilli les musulmans à se cacher chez nous. Il est resté au bord de la rivière pendant trois jours et j'étais parti, je l'ai trouvé, je voulais le prendre, mais il avait peur de moi. Le père Bissa a appelé, nous avons tout fait pour qu'il vienne. Ici, ils se sentent à l'aise et elles se sentent aimées. Father Bernard reminded us that although this is mistakenly made out to be a religious war, it's not that simple. It's communities just fighting to survive. Alors on dit bon, on, on, on se replie pour pouvoir regarder le terrain, alors ils sont en train de réfléchir. 
While the war raged on, cities were under siege. Hundreds of people fled to shelter at an international peacekeeper's base. They protected the civilians as Selica and anti balaka forces traded fire. The next morning, we were told that more than 1,000 people had been killed across the country. As the conflict bled into the streets, entire villages began hiding deep in the bush, far away from roads or towns that would make them easy targets. This community had lived in the fields for seven months when we found them. Mais moi qui est chef du village, je me suis obligé de rentrer dans la brousse. On me cherche comme des, des chiens. Comme des chiens qui cherchent des rats. La population dort sous l'arbre, sans refuge. Où souffre Là où nous sommes, c'est pour avoir seulement des médicaments, de la et de l'anémie. Des femmes qui accouchent dans la bouche comme ça, sans autant avoir le traitement. Pour moi, je peux estimer peut-être même 4 à 5 morts par semaine. Hein. Il y a le tomo ici. 9 mois et 6 mois. Et puis on veut à ce que vraiment, il faut que la paix règne. Parce qu'on ne peut pas vivre vraiment comme ça dans cet état dans la brousse. But it wasn't until September 2014, when the UN peacekeepers arrived, that the violence would finally die down. Three years later, the original militias have split into 14 separate factions, controlling different parts of the country. But in the east, a new battleground has emerged. Car is bursting with gold and diamond mines. On sait qu'il y a des groupes armés qui ont bénéficié. Mais tu as une femme, des enfants, que tu dois penser aussi à leur nourriture, qui ont eu la chance peut-être de rebeller contre le gouvernement passé parce qu'ils n'avaient rien. Parce que lorsqu'on est trop pauvre, on cherche à être des, des brigands, des, des hommes mal intentionnés. Everyone is scrambling for control of the rich natural resources. And although a new president was elected in 2016, rebel factions have taken control of the eastern mines. Si on, on gère très mal le pays, le pays va être divisé. Mais pour le moment, je sais qu'il y, y a cette paix qui s'instaure. Dieu pense à la RCA, je sais que la RCA va changer. Close to half a million people still live in crammed refugee camps throughout Car and neighboring countries. Whether Christian or Muslim, many have no home to go back to. Parfois, je n'ai même rien à trouver à manger. Notre menu, notre toit là, c'est toujours en bâche. Il n'y en a même plus de l'eau. C'est pour cela que je me mets toujours ça. On n'a même rien à vivre. The Central African Republic remains a divided, scarred and fragile country. In 2017 alone, an increase in violence displaced another 100,000 people. Right now, this story feels like it has no end. Just resilient people looking towards an uncertain future. We were really suffering after the war. We really want peace for that we can live in peace.